to the phones we go. Good morning. Bob Sekoler, Louisville Real Estate Show, News Radio 840 WHAS. Hello. Hey, Bob, this is John. Yeah. Um, we're si- in the process of signing documents, and we noticed that we're being requested to put the time along with the date, and I'm wondering why that's important. That's a great question, John. And for that, we turn to somebody who used to be on the Kentucky Real Estate Commission as their attorney. The, the, the commission is no longer in existence because they've changed all that, right? But you would know of anybody, Lee Harris. Yes. Um, the reason that... Um the law asks you to put the date and the time is because that allows people to track when you actually initialed or signed each page. So what a lot of people do is they sign at the bottom or initial at the bottom and they put one o'clock, one o'clock, one o'clock, one o'clock, one o'clock. Mm-hmm. Well, if that's the case, then it's showing you really didn't read those pages, right? However, if you're actually tracking your time, it's probably going to take you a minute or two or three to read each page. And then at the end, it will show that you actually did read each section before you initialed or or signed it, and it shows when changes were made. So let's say somebody makes a change, uh, then you can say, oh, yes, well, this was originally uh, initialed at 102, Mm -hmm. and then the next day uh, it was uh, changed, and we now see that that this time has has passed. So let me ask you a question, because I heard a long time ago there was a law case where there was a challenge that the person wrote, one o'clock, one o'clock, one o'clock, one o'clock, and they, the, the, however the lawsuit w- worked out, the contention was no one could have actually read this, so I didn't really read it because I just wrote this down, and I don't know if they won or not. Do you know the case study I'm talking about? No, but that's the reason that we put that in the law is because m- mostly people were either just putting the date and they weren't putting the time, time, or if they did put the time, they were always just putting the same time. So we tried to train agents to say, look, when they're going through this, tell them you need to look at your watch at the end of each page and say... One o'clock, one o three, one o six. So right. therefore, you can prove that you've read that them. you've read. And, I, it. and yeah. I've had some classes with Lee, and she's a very great teacher, and she's taught yeah. us that there are specific documents such as agency disclosure that need to be signed beforehand. That if if things do go awry, they, attorneys will go back to make sure the agent gave documents in the proper date, time, format. So you're saying sign the agency disclosure first and time it oh, yeah. to show that they signed it first. I have a feeling there are a couple of agents who are listening to us right now going, oh, I didn't know that. Yes. So, okay, we got <laughs> now we know, right? All right. Absolutely. If you'd like to hear what the buyers or sellers are saying about us, go to louisvillesellerstalk.com or louisvillebuyerstalk.com, or you can read our reviews on Zillow. You can go to louisvillezillow.com.